Hello, my name is Julie Fayfan Balzer, and I am a mixed media artist and printmaker. And I have been designing stencils for the Crafters Workshop for more than a decade, which is hard to believe. So I put together this series of short tutorial videos for you. They cover some really important basic techniques that every stencil artist ought to know. And I've also taken the prints that I made and turned them into some very simple cards. So you can see a little bit about how you might end up using some of these beautiful papers that you're gonna make with craft Crafters Workshop Stencils by Balzer Designs. I am using a gelatin plate with ink pads. These are archival ink pads from Ranger, but you can do the same technique using all kinds of ink, dye ink, distress ink, pigment ink, whatever it is that you have on hand. And I'm using my brayer to smooth out the colors and blend them together so that I get a nice movement from one color to the next. I put my mask down onto the plate and then a piece of paper. And then I'm just rubbing with my hands, exerting some pressure to get my print. But ink pads are a really neat and clean way to stencil. You can see how great that impression is. Now there's probably still some ink there. So I'm just using a scrap piece of paper and yep, wanted to remove the little bit of ink that was left because under the stencil is an absolutely beautiful print from the ink pad and I'm gonna pick that up and now I will have the opposite, right? You can see that I got a little bit of the text off the stencil, so I probably should flip it over next time, but I have my positive and my negative. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stack those two pieces together and using a craft knife, I'm just gonna cut through them on a messy diagonal. I didn't quite make it all the way through the first time, so I'm gonna do it a second time. And now I have pieces that will go together just like that. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna take a moment and just take tape them together so that they don't fall apart. You don't have to do this. I just find it a little easier because I'm klutzy. And I have a five by seven piece of cardstock, which I am putting some adhesive onto. And then I'm just cutting around the excess paper so that I can get my front down to size. And of course I have a bunch of sentiments that I printed out on my computer. So I want to adhere these. I'm gonna use foam adhesive because I like it when I get a little bit of dimension in that sentiment. It just makes it a little bit special even in a simple card. Now I'm going to trim this down to just under five by seven and go ahead and put it onto my card base. And now that's it. This is a simple card with simple prints and you could just make these over and over. In fact, you have enough paper to make probably at least two more of these. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like more great stencil content, I do have a free email course called Stencil 101. And of course, you can visit my classroom site at balzerdesigns.com and find lots and lots of classes of all kinds. My whole philosophy about teaching is that I want you to embrace who you are and to really understand deep down how design and how art goes together so that you can always make the kind of art you want, whether you're in class or not. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will subscribe, like, and comment on this video.